Did you know that 90% of viewers cannot tell the difference between real footage and AI generated content? We're living in a world where anything you see online could be a digital illusion. And with AI getting so powerful and misinformation spreading like wildfire, YouTube has added some new rules and some new features that creators need to know about that are ultimately intended to help viewers spot AI fakery. So this video is gonna help you understand those rules, debunk some myths, and avoid the pitfalls that could be harmful to your channel and lead to getting your content demonetized or even your channel banned. And we're also gonna explore how you can use AI safely and why YouTube actually not only approves, but actually encourages the use of AI in some cases. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be sharing three unbreakable tips for succeeding on YouTube with AI and sharing with you a mind-blowing software that has the power to change the way you create content. And heads up, the sponsor of today's video is InVideo AI, but more on that later. But first, let's talk about these new rules. On March 18th, 2024, YouTube introduced a new tool in Creator Studio requiring creators to disclose to viewers when realistic content, which is content a viewer could easily mistake for a real person, place, or event, is made with altered or synthetic media, including generative AI. So now when you upload a video, YouTube asks you this question. Do any of the following describe your content? One, makes a real person appear to say or do something they didn't say or do. Two, alters footage of a real event or place. Or three, generates a realistic looking scene that didn't actually occur. And then you are required to say either yes or no in terms of the answers to those questions. Now, if you check yes, a label will be added to the video that viewers can see that says altered or synthetic content. But hold on, I'm sure you've got questions and we're gonna cover those. You may be wondering, if I used AI at all in the creation of the video, do I need to check yes? According to YouTube, the answer is no, not at all. And they say this, we won't require creators to disclose if generative AI was used for things like productivity, generating scripts, content ideas, or automatic captions. So it seems that YouTube's purpose here is to defend against fictional content appearing to be real that could cause real damage. For example, imagine a realistic video of the United States White House in flames with someone saying America is under attack, but it's not actually happening. It's generative AI or a presidential candidate saying something they didn't actually say. Side note, with 2024 being an election year, I think we're going to see all kinds of crazy AI stuff this year. So it's unsurprising that YouTube is doing this. Now, there's a couple other things you need to know. YouTube also clarified that they are not requiring creators to disclose content that is clearly unrealistic, animated, or includes special effects. So maybe this seems obvious, but they're clarifying. If you're not generating a real person doing something they didn't do, then you don't have to check the box. For example, an animation of someone riding a unicorn through a fantastical world, color adjustment or lighting filters, special effects like background blur or vintage effects, or beauty filters and other visual enhancements. In fact, back in November, YouTube spoke in a positive tone about generative AI in general. They said it has potential to unlock creativity on YouTube and transform the experience for viewers and creators on the platform. So when it comes to making better videos or adding filters or being creative and using AI to enhance the video, it's really not being discouraged by YouTube. They see it as the new frontier of creativity. However, there are a few things you should be warned about because YouTube does mention stricter and more prominent implementation of the content labels regarding generative AI that they're going to add to videos when it comes to sensitive topics. And here's what they say the topics are. Health, news, elections, and finance. In my opinion, this is where the slope gets a little bit slippery because they go on to say that we may also apply this label to your videos in cases when you haven't disclosed, so you didn't check yes or no, especially when the content discusses sensitive topics. Over time, we will introduce penalties for creators for repeatedly not disclosing videos that are meaningfully altered or synthetically generated, which could include, here's the penalties, content removal, suspension from the YouTube partner program, and other penalties. 
Wow. So you may be wondering, how is YouTube going to find this misleading AI content? Well, they said that's going to be possible to request a removal through their privacy request process. So this brings up the question, how do you as a creator use AI safely? Let's break it down. So first, here's the good news. You don't need to check yes, you don't need to disclose if you're using AI simply in the video creation process design, scripting, different things like that. You only need to disclose AI, as they said, if you're showing a real person doing something they didn't say, if you're altering footage of a real event, or if you're showing a realistic scene, like let's say there was a tornado moving to a real town, causing people to panic and think, is that happening in my actual town? But I digress, how do you stay safe using AI? Well, even if you want to use identifiable individuals or tornadoes headed to real towns, the key here is just check yes so people know that the video is altered or synthetic. And again, you don't need to disclose if you're using AI to build out the individual pieces of your YouTube video. For example, writing an outline, writing a script, editing the video, adding captions, adding video clips, AKA B-roll footage, adding transitions or visual effects, adding background music, or adding a voiceover. In fact, the crazy thing is AI is getting so powerful, it will actually do all of the above for you with the push of a button. There's a tool that I've talked about previously on this channel called InVideo AI, and it's super mind-blowing because it'll actually do all the YouTube steps that I just listed, creating publish-ready YouTube videos for you even in your own voice now with voice cloning with simple text prompts. It's pretty mind blowing. Let me show you how it works and the brand new features that allow you to clone your own voice and create videos without having to edit or record anything. First, just click the link in the description and sign up for a free account of InVideo AI. Second, upload a clip of your own voice. It only has to be 30 seconds. Then check the following to grant permission for InVideo to clone your voice. Your cloned voice will then be exclusively accessible within your account. Third, type in a detailed text prompt about the video you wanna create. So the video idea I came up with was money-making principles from King Solomon in the Bible. So then I hit go and out pops the video with the script and the voiceover using my voice clone. So let's see how it sounds. Imagine if you could tap into the wealth secrets of the richest king in history, a king who, despite the passage of time and massive shifts in the world's economy, still stands as a symbol of unrivaled prosperity. Dude, this is pretty crazy. I mean, let me know in the comments if you think this sounds like me, but again, I did not read this script. I just uploaded my voice and now boom, it can pop out my voice clone over these videos. Now, after you have the first version of the video, the way you make changes is with text prompts in the edit command box. Some of the prompts I did was just say, add captions, boom, it adds captions. I played around with the music a little bit, like you could say, change the song to a lo-fi hip hop beat. Another one is add a call to action to subscribe to the channel for more at the end of the video and it'll update the script. And then again, just use your voice clone. And then honestly, at this point, you could just export the video and then you're done. It's pretty wild. But if you wanna go in and tweak things and make more detailed changes, you can edit parts of the script. You can switch out the B-roll clips. I did. A a little bit of polishing in this video. And what's cool is there's a prompt where you can just go into their stock footage and stock photos, type in a certain topic or category and just look through and then boom, swap out the different scenes, super easy. But literally the million dollar question is, is are these videos monetizable? And the answer is yes, they don't violate any of YouTube's rules. So if you wanna try this tool out, just click the link in the description and sign up. You're able to actually make four videos for free, but if you're serious about video creation, you'd wanna to upgrade to a paid plan that starts at just $20 a month, which is the one that I have that allows you to remove the watermarks and also allows you to clone your voice the way I showed you at the beginning. And they also have an iOS app that allows you to create videos using the exact same steps I just showed you on the go. Which brings us to probably the most important part of this video, which is how do you actually create content that gets views, makes money, stays in YouTube's good graces, all while using AI intelligently. So let's break down these three tips. Number one is quality. Whether or not you use AI in the creation process of your video isn't what matters most. What matters most is, is the final product quality? So answer this question. How can I make this video valuable, entertaining, interesting, or educational for the viewer? 
even with a powerful tool like in video AI, it's still going to be your creative ideas, your own voice, and how you edit and fine tune the final product of your idea so that it's the best version that provides real value to the viewers. That's where you get views. Tip number two is honesty. Just don't mislead viewers. Ultimately, YouTube is not discouraging the use of generative AI, even in parody accounts or showing real world events if it's for fun or for entertainment purposes. The key is they're looking for it to be disclosed. This is a trust and a transparency play. And while I understand the feelings we could have about the overreach of them maybe flagging certain content, I think the intent behind it is just to keep viewers safe and to ultimately strengthen, not weaken trust, which trust in today's YouTube landscape is imperative. And side note, earlier in the video, we covered the types of AI content that you need to disclose, but YouTube has also published an updated comprehensive list. So I'll make sure to link to that in the description in case you wanna check that out. The third tip that is so important for all content creators is adaptability. Business Insider actually revealed that the most important skill amid the rise of AI is adaptability. They called it the skill of the moment. Adaptability means you easily adjust to changing circumstances, technology, environments, and priorities. Welcome to YouTube 2024. AI is evolving rapidly, YouTube is trying to catch up, and your job is to keep learning, to continue to build new skills, to continue to experiment, and I believe to embrace AI. I think that creators who ignore AI are gonna lose relevance and eventually get left behind. But let me know your thoughts in the comments about these new rules regarding AI from YouTube. And if you wanna check out the Bible secrets for making money from King Solomon video that InVideo AI made, I'll link to that in the comments as well. I uploaded it over on my Sean Cannell channel. But one more thing. Even if you make a high quality video that has the potential to add value to viewers, but nobody clicks on it, then the video will still fail. That's why thumbnails are so important. And I actually have a video where I create a highly clickable thumbnail in under two minutes. No joke, I time myself. And you can watch that by just clicking or tapping the screen. My name is Sean Cannell, your guide to building a profitable YouTube channel. Smash like if you got value and I can't wait to connect with you in a future video.